DirectFix.com presents the Motorola Zoom Take Apart Directions. Be sure to check us out on the web at DirectFix.com. Use coupon code YouTube7 for 7% off your first order. Warning, this content is intended to be used for informational and entertainment purposes only. You are using this video directions and its content at your own risk. X Micro Solution Inc. makes no representation, warranties, or conditions of any kind expressed or implied. Following these directions on the video will void your warranty you are performing this repair at your own risk. Begin by removing the two T5 screws at the bottom of the unit near the charge and data sync ports. Remove the plastic cover over the ports. Slide the bottom portion of the back cover down. The bottom portion of the back cover uses slides with small clips to hold it onto the unit. Use a small screwdriver or similar object to push the clips and completely remove the back cover. Next, we'll remove the top portion of the back cover. There are two T5 screws holding this on as well as a small connector for the power button. There are 13 T6 screws and two T5 screws holding the battery. Carefully pull out the battery and disconnect the small cable connecting it to the motherboard. Use your case opener tool to carefully remove the two small speakers. Carefully remove the camera. It is sitting in a small plastic frame that you will have to remove first. Then remove the ribbon cable and pull the camera out. Disconnect the two connectors at the bottom of the unit and one on either side at the top.
There are 10 screws that hold the motherboard into the unit. Two of these screws are gold and have a special bracket. They are along the top. Carefully remove the motherboard. There are 17 T6 screws holding the screen frame together. Carefully remove the touch panel from the rest of the screen. There are 13 T5 screws holding the LCD into the screen frame. Carefully lift the LCD out of the frame. Please be sure to check our website, directfix.com. Just click the link below for all your parts and accessory needs.